But you weren't here, so you missed it. It's Groundhog Day. Did the groundhog see a shadow? I don't know, but we're supposed to get an early spring. Yeah, I don't know what those things mean either. I don't know if, if he sees a shadow, that means, uh, you know. All I know is, yeah, we're going to have an early spring. And you know what today is? Saturday. It's Aqualiz's birthday. Oh, happy birthday. Which was actually yesterday, as you guys are watching this. So happy birthday, Liz. I hope it was a great day. Um, yeah, it's Saturday, and at least it's sunny out, but it's supposed to be cold the rest of the week. Chi Chi, you're not going to make it. Oh, he made it. <laughs> oh, puppy's pretty exhausted. He's got his sweater on over here. All of a sudden, he started choking yesterday. I don't know why. It sounded like he's got something caught in his throat, but I don't think he'll let us look in there. What have you got to say? I don't think so either. Hmm. Well, good news last night if you didn't see yesterday's video. Sean, that is far too loud. Could you please turn that down? I can't even hear myself think. And there's hair on me. All right. I reached the water goal for yesterday, which means today I am continuing on to day two of the lean. So not only do I have to drink eight cups of water and by the way I'm on about two <laughs> I'm on my third one actually I finished two today and every day thereafter I must eat a hearty breakfast which isn't really a problem for me anyway because I usually do have a very good breakfast back in the day when I was younger I used to skip breakfast all the time and now I realize that that was a huge mistake. Breakfast really is the most important meal of the day, isn't it, honey? You got to put fuel in there, otherwise you're not going to go. You've gone all night without eating. You've got to eat something in the morning, otherwise you're just running on empty right from the beginning of the day. So a couple of years ago, I realized that breakfast is definitely necessary. And I'm a little embarrassed to say that it took me about 40 something years to realize that but at least I realized it there's the good news so I'm gonna continue drinking my water bottle and then we're gonna head out to the store I think we're looking for a garbage can you hear that noise that's the noise of insanity every machine except the glass which we don't have any of Ugh bad enough that you have to bring these back but then when people treat you poorly target I never thought I'd say that target yeah. I can't believe it target in the ninth crappiest place in the world to live it's true, it's on the list. well it's the ninth da most dangerous place in the United States. empty your bottle machines if you're not here in two minutes we're going to another store target in the ninth crappiest place well, they showed up because we're obviously in Target. Mm. That was a close call. <laughs> it was. We were just about to leave and some girl came in. I felt so bad for her. Especially since I was talking smack right when she came in. <laughs> <sighs> I don't like the... Oh, wait, is that... Yeah, okay, that's the one. I need to step on because I don't like when the lid gets dirty from touching it or, like, touching a dirty lid. That looks like a winner right there. I think that's the same one we got Maddie for her apartment. I think so. Is that B? This one? Yeah. Oh, okay. You got the right lid? Yes. All right. I really like this one, but I don't like the lid that comes with it. Because this... Oh, wait. Maybe I... How does this one work? I don't know. This is a step-on. That's a Z. It's an AC. What gal is that? Um, 12.2. How many is that one? You said it was 13. I thought it was 13. What is it? 13. All right. We'll try it. Let's see. I cannot. All right. Here, you hold this. How will it snap on? You've got to force it. <laughs> it's really cold today, guys. Like, really cold. In New York, anyway. We're about to get some snow. 
All right, we'll be back. That looks like a winner. You care that it's scratched? Yes. <laughs> Please tell me that's not the last lid they have. Because there's four cans there. There can only be one lid. Uh. How was that? No. That's All right, honey, we got an on-the-go review. What did we get here? Green Machine Knocked. <laughs> Looks weird, tastes amazing. It's a boosted 100% juice smoothie with no sugar added. I'll be the judge of that. See what you think about that. Can you put a tear into it? Crap. <laughs> no, it looks like vomit. Pretty much. In the Blair style. Yeah. <laughs> I hope there's no chunks in it. How is it? Not bad. Yeah, you like that? It's got good stuff in there. It's got like apple and broccoli, I think, and kiwi, pineapple. Mmm, it is really good. Probably too much sugar on it. It says no added sugar. It's just the sugar from the fruits. Yeah, I know, too much. Alright, well, I like it. Honey, yeah. it's date night at ShopRite and there's no markdown. I know. It must be because of the stupid Super Because it's Super Bowl. Bowl weekend. Stupid Bowl weekend. Yeah! But, and what Bowie. happened? David Bowie was just on and now it's not. They're ruining it. Sail away is on. <laughs> Dennis to customer service, please. Dennis to customer service. Yeah, the guy from Sticks, like I'm flipping out. That's good too, I guess. Not as good as Bowie. Look at what we're getting when it goes on sale. Greek yogurt ice cream baklava flavor. That's a winner. Winning! I'm disgusted. <laughs> The markdowns were poop. They they charged us the wrong thing for a sack of chicken by three dollars, and now we found out that they don't give it to you for free if they get the scanner price wrong. That is BS because you. Been, I, I have a feeling that's been that way. We've caught them, and they haven't given it to us for free. I can't remember the last time. No, we got something for free pretty recently, like a couple months ago. Yeah. yeah. That is BS because somebody who's a dummy who's at the checkout and just is like, oh, just ring up my stuff and doesn't know their prices, that's stealing as far as I'm concerned. So they should reward you for pointing out that it's wrong. And now we have to wait because the freaking thing is frozen here. What is it, like 18 degrees right now? When we went to church, it said minus 7 Celsius, which Kristen asked her, her phone, and that's minus, no, that's 19 Fahrenheit. Mm. So, I imagine now that the sun has fully gone down, that it's a lot colder now. So, it's really cold, guys. I almost wiped out the morning <laughs> which is not that surprising for me. Hi, Homer. Hi. Are you hungry? Are you excited about the new garbage can? Wow. Of course you are. It's so pretty. <laughs> you like that, don't you? You like it? Wow. All right. So we just got back from ShopRite. Yeah, it was a total suck fest. <sighs> the only thing that was marked down were these bagels, and they weren't even that marked down. These were $1.99. They usually would have been like $1.74. I know it's pennies, but you know what? Pennies add up, kids. So we got some Celesti pizza, veg vegetable, <laughs> some New York pretzels, because I really miss those. And Mark's like, you got gluten, 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 and gluten. Yeah, well, we got a couple gluten-free things, too. Mark got his uh, banana yogurt from Chobani. He really likes that. I love the soul food spinach and uh, collard greens and stuff like that. Oh, so good. Yes, I know. I got another bucket of Cheez-Its. That's my third or fourth bucket. I think it's my fourth bucket. Is it my fourth bucket? I think so. I like Cheez-Its! So does Murray. Says, Ma, I like Cheez-Its. Ma, you're blocking my camera shot. Ma, Ma, move. 
got Verdell's cheese. Mark got this aloe stuff because he thinks it's good for heartburn or something. So he's going to try that. Got some Frigo cheese because Kristen's making um, stromboli tomorrow. So I got some Soprasada, some Mortadella. Does Mortadella make you happy? Yeah, of course it does. Makes everyone happy. Then it makes you die. Because <laughs> Mortadella means little death, literally. Mark's going to have to come in and do tradition when he uh, finishes putting the salt on the driveway. Boneless chicken. Wangs. Spelled wangs. <laughs> Some more of that apple cinnamon checks because it was on sale. Some nut thins here. Pepper Jack, Kristen's favorite. Some bananas. We haven't had Thousand Island in a while, so I said, let's get some Thousand Island. And this one says, oils like those in Wishbone help better absorb vitamins A and E from salad. It's good enough for me. <laughs> Just give me the dressing. And uh, some peppers. Oh, do I hear maple leaf rag? Do I? Do I hear maple leaf rag? Please? Maple leaf rag? No. Oh. Sorry guys, I tried. Tradition! Tradition! Yeah. It's ice cream time. It's like 15 degrees and snowing out. <laughs> I'm freezing. But I am bound by tradition. That's right. Oh. Ahayam! <laughs> Mazel, mazel, good things. Mmm. Want tradition? Good stuff. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Step on the glass. Sean, you want tradition? Yeah. You have to say it. Tradition! Tradition. He said magician. <laughs> he said magician. <laughs> Alright, guys. The water thing. I'm doing better than I thought. This is my second bottle, so it's actually like four per bottle. So since I did one already, that's four, five, six. Just two left for today. I'm going to do it, Sean. I'm absolutely going to do it. <laughs> you excited? Yes. <laughs> Me too. And guys, I got to tell you something. I know you've been suspecting it for a long time, right, Sean? Wait. I hoard cheeses. <laughs> There's three buckets right here. One I destroyed already. I destroyed the evidence, but I have to make a confession that I'm on my fourth bucket of cheeses. Sorry. The first step, though, is admitting that you have a problem. <laughs> I just did. And I guess the second step is believe in a higher power. That's covered. What's the third step, Kristen? She doesn't know. I just know that there's 12. Shawnee, what's the third step? Third step. What's the third step? Treadmill. <laughs> Very good. That's right. You heard it here. The third step is treadmill. First, admit that you have a problem. Two, believe in a higher power. And the third, get on the treadmill. Because those cheese it's are fattening. Dinner time. Salad. Pizza. 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 <laughs> the dogs are like, um, that's only four. Where's the other two? Those cats don't deserve it. Uh, the chicken that they almost tried to charge us three dollars too much for. And I pulled this one out of the bag. Some Dr. Prager's spinach patties. Good stuff. Hi. <laughs> I just want to thank all you guys for hanging out on Blog TV with me tonight and on Google Hangouts. You're the best. You make my weekend every weekend. And here's dessert for tonight. I have some Briar's Blast Snickers along with some of that chia seed um, brownie. It actually really is good. Don't listen to Mark. <laughs> so it's got a little crunchy in it. Kind of tastes like bugs are in there, but it's okay because it doesn't taste like bugs. <laughs> Come on, give it a try. Expand your horizons. It's just a little crunchy. It's good for you though. It'll make a big difference. So I'm going to enjoy that. 
and then this is what I'm going to look like. Because <laughs> I am tired. But I'm not tired of you guys. You're the awesome best. So until tomorrow, much love. Hey, 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 hey.